Happy Hump Day. Tonight we are contemplating our next move and I believe that's going to be honing the cylinders. So the block is clean and we've cleaned up all the mating surfaces pretty much. I still have some work to do on the head mating surfaces and some other areas but I made some good progress there as you can see. So <clears throat> the main purpose of this video is really a response to a recent comment and that comment was, take it to a machine shop. And I thought about that for a while, and sure, I could take it to a machine shop, but here locally, there are three machine shops that I know of. One of them does really good work. He's an older guy, super nice shop. I've used him in the past, and the last engine that I did, he had my block for three months. That's three months. Three months of progress you're gonna lose. Potentially. Uh, the other two shops do not have good reviews. And these are verbal reviews from people that have used them that I know. So, <clears throat> you know, do I send it to a guy and be three months deep in a wait? Do I take a chance and send it to a shop where I might get it back faster but get uh, poor quality work? Uh, no thanks. And the other side of that is I don't learn anything. So when you do something yourself, you're gonna make mistakes, but you're gonna learn from those mistakes. And that's how you grow and you polish your skills. So in my case, I'm polishing my skills. <clears throat> I dunked this uh, engine block in this barrel it sat for, I don't know, six days if you've been following my videos. So, you know, I soaked it in the barrel. Uh, this product called Oil Eater, it came out super clean. I pressure washed it. And what was my mistake in pressure washing? Well, that mistake was rust. I didn't dry it fast enough. I don't know what the deal was, but I have some rust. <clears throat> you know, it's, it's not anything that's major you're really just seeing the color i hit this spot right here with some brake cleaner tonight and it seemed to really kind of knock most of it off i have to wash this whole thing anyway so will all of this just wash away i don't know i'll find out but that's part of the learning process i have to learn you have to do things and make mistakes to learn so <clears throat> you know when you're doing something if you want to do something if you have the time I have time, you know, to build this. If it takes me six months, I've got six months. I don't care. I have time and I have the desire to learn more skills, new skills. So I'm going to do that. And I encourage you to learn new things. Uh, teach yourself, read, watch videos, whatever it takes. And uh, teach yourself new things. Don't just take it somewhere and rely on someone else to do it for you. Doing it yourself, you'll save money. Uh, you're going to hone your skills and you'll be able to do it faster, cheaper, and better the next time around. So anyway, sorry to ramble, but um, if you're looking to do something like this, man, dive in. Dive in and do it. Don't just sit around and, and think about it or wonder or, hey, can I do this? If you have basic mechanical skills, you know, if you can change oil, water pumps, things like that, <clears throat> you can learn. You can learn to do this. Anybody can learn to do this. It's just nuts and bolts. So, I mean, there's a lot more to it than that, but you'll learn as you go. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate you uh, following. And uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. And the next video, I believe, on this is going to be honing the cylinders. And... We will make a video on that and uh, go from there. See you.